What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, uh, the Russians aren't too happy about us taking Hanover and they have decided to lay siege to us, but not attack. So we are responding in kind and we are going to sally. So let's crack on and destroy them. Um, but our armies in the Americas should soon be uh, up to snuff and then we can send them on to attack well, we're probably gonna, we probably are going to land in Hanover, and then drive towards Berlin, potentially, potentially give Berlin to Saxony to see if we can foster a bit of a German kingdom that way. Let's try, try and see if we can create our own um, ally in Central Europe. Act as a bit of a bulwark against Austria. Okay, so they can be over here. We are going to deploy out. So, deploy my guns. But I don't think we're going to get a huge amount of use out of them just yet. I'm going to deploy in a bit of a V shape. There we go. I'm not entirely sure what direction. They're going to be over here somewhere, but. Pull the Carabin Carabin Carabiners back. Form up the line. We've got a large column of men here. Could get. See, this happened again. Nope. Okay, good. Just wondering if the sound and effect turn themselves off again. Let's get my carabin carabiner around the flank. Everyone else fire as they bear. We're going to be fired, so that's too late. Sars in against the general's bodyguard, give me a regiment of horse to push up the flank. Where's my skirmishers? It's holding them off. The enemy line well the enemy line hasn't formed. Let me guard our cheval. I've hit my the apex of the formation near my grenadiers, so I'm gonna have to draw you guys into squares. Push up to closer range. So one of my units keep pushing on around. Get a militia after my skirmish cavalry, so they're just going to keep running. They may attempt to outflank us. And one of you keep engaging the general's bodyguard. Let's run to your new position. Hopefully the cavalry will fall imminently. There's 14 men remaining. Get these guys out of square formation. Chamfer off that corner. To pivot my skirmish cavalry to get a volley off against the militia. Then they'll charge them. Make ready. Get in line. Get your carbines out, get your pistol out. It's a good volley. Charge. Charge. Ooh, <laughs> them went flying. Bit of a gamble. Skirmish cavalry versus melee infantry. Bad things can happen there. general it's not the general the general was over yeah the general was the guy that left was left behind excellent keep maneuvering get my 
Put my horse in to chase them down, get my hussars in to chase down the 51st. Uh, you keep chasing down the militia, why not? More cavalry coming in. Stick regiment formed square. They're gonna hit our square formation. Oh, they've got they broke. Excellent. This enemy to the rear. Well, those guys must have been hidden. So they, what were those like? Their, their reserves. They didn't want to commit into battle. My guns haven't been used at all because they're just a bit too close. Or they were. Can you ignore the Streltsy now? The 23rd Regiment there. Let's try kill this Infantry Regiment. Let the Russians know what it means to stand against the Army of Portugal. Okay, Hitler coming in now. Second Regiment, of course. Limber the guns. So we provoke them into forming a square. Before we make everyone move, let's just uh put on my skirmishes if they get into come on. As I say, if they get into a good position, they can get a good volley off against that cavalry. Everyone readjust. Okay, so you've killed. Okay, I have to try hit the hit the militia because you haven't got a choice. They've successfully fled, so you're going to storm in from the back as well. My guns are firing now. Ah, they charged my militia cavalry. Bad. Keep running, run, 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 run. Should really toggle skirmish mode on, but you, to do that, you really want to make some good, make some space between the units you're trying to flee from before you do it. Slaughter the militia. So you men hit the militia. This cavalry charge forward. The rest of the routing army. The regiment of horse is going to get a few kills before they flee. Skirmish cavalry back because the militia seem determined to pursue my cavalry at all costs. Let's keep driving the line up. Seamen go after some of this infantry. There you go, the Cossack line's being engaged with the rest of my army. Yeah, this isn't bad. No place for skirmishes, so stay behind the line, fire it will off. The 6th, 7th, 35th, everyone else make ready to engage. Second regiment, Cossacks. I mean, they look quite nice with their moustaches and hats, but they're going down. Okay, just keep my cavalry away from that. So run my cavalry through my line to guide the militia back to where I want them to be. Forty fourth are taking a. Eh, they're doing a bit of damage. Try cut down on the time we're going to have to take to wait for the militia to get here. We 
general could have been committed, but we're not going to do anything yet. We're going to let these men engage. You have to reload. You're being picked off. So here comes the enemy militia. Yeah, they are unhappy about the uh, being engaged by so much musketry. Trying to charge, but they're going to change their minds. There they go. Cease fire the artillery. I'm going to continue just because some of these units are actually routing good directions. If they're all routing to the edge of the map as fast as they could, they'd escape. But some of them are electing to uh, run to this edge, which gives us a lot of wiggle room. We could go after those guys at the front, but let's go for the low-hanging fruits and knock out some of these units here. Come on. Slaughter them. Not many left of this Russian line infantry as it is. Yes, yeah, so they've all escaped anyway over the hill. Last militia. One guy left. Ah, oh, you. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's one of them. Nuts. But still, good win. Very good win. I'll teach them to siege our cities. You wait till our friends show up. Back you go. So let us repair this force here. I want to get two units of howitzers to back them up. That would be useful. In which case I may amalgamate some infantry regiments to make space. Although we don't actually have that much regular line infantry. So all of my regular units of line are filled up. So this regiment of 83... Who needs infantry? I don't think either of you guys really need them. We're going to be safe for a turn. So let's bring you back. And then let's... Hmm. It's not really, there's not really much more combining I can do. So I might just have to lose... A unit of mercenaries... Make two spaces for the howitzers. Good stuff. Okay, 27,000. Got our navy here. The Russian navy, which we want to fight. And the Corlin navy, but we don't necessarily fight them both at the same time. So maybe I should make peace with Corlin so I can raid here to provoke the fight. Down in Crimea, everything's okay. There's no ports to raid. So. I mean, Spain's, Spain's blockaded to hell and back. They're not going anywhere. You get back into Cartagena. You're on your way up to another army. Let's get our... Military production upgraded. So are you in good shape? You are. So you guys go into Sandy Bay. Get repairs. You're getting some ships. Oh, that's Admiral's flagship third rate. Don't want those. Nice. But I don't think you're need... Well, you might be needed in future in the med so I may base you in Valletta preemptively this sloop can be freed up although we don't really have a requirement for what to do with you yet so let's put you in Safaki let's upgrade the Jesuit college here in Tunis Yeah, well, I can foresee a scenario where we want, well, where we, in future when we fight against 
Transylvania, but I would like to try and turn all of this into New Saxony. I'll keep Hanover for myself. And then turn this into Saxony, then maybe focus landing around St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, Riga. Maybe take out Courland itself. That could be quite neat. So over in the Americas, everyone's everyone's pushing up, doing their own thing. The agent's on the way. Everyone over here is rebuilding. Or who is rebuilding as much as they can. You're replenishing. Yep. See? You are waiting for reinforcements. Cool. So eight and a half thousand. We build any economy stuff. Looks like slim pickings. Apart from Quebec, but we don't really need to do anything in Quebec. Right, apart from that. Yeah, let's hit and turn. Yeah, so this is exactly the kind of thing where I want more. I think I probably want more ships in the Med, because Austria is about to pick up an army. Or maybe not. They've engaged. Oh, the Ottomans have pushed them back from Rome. Spain is growing its strength once more. Yep, yeah, Russian army's fallen back, but they're coming back in with in strength. Yeah, more than welcome to. Sweden's on the move. Are they gonna Alright. <laughs> yeah. They really can't decide what direction they want to go. And it's doubly frustrating when they're running around in um, individual clusters rather than <laughs> rather than marching together as one army and going all together. Good fun there. So, Dresden is growing. Agent detected. Ah, oh, Spanish rakes trying to kill my generals. Okay, upgrade the ordnance board. New town emerges. Mohawk, Iroquois territory. Have a craft workshop. Trait gained. Friends in government. Plus three to subterfuge. Good man. Radical pamphleteer. <laughs> That's the kind of... It brings a lot of attention for a spy, doesn't it? War declared between Spain and Austria. So, Austria is going to take Naples and Milan. Consolidating their power. Create the government building here. Global trading companies, naval colleges. I think that's the best you can get in a non-capital. Yep. Green Dover's Weaver's Cottage. Global trading company, palatial states. Great estates. I mean, we are rapidly reaching the point of where we've just got Every, our entire empire is as developed as it can possibly be. I do see that factory in Florida. There it is. Keep upgrading facilities at Ceylon. Place the states. The power and cloth mill. Steam engine factory and a commercial port in Autobranda becomes a commercial basin. Okay, how's your conversion going? 100%. Excellent. You can push on up to Williamsburg. It's going to take you a few turns to get them. 2.6 a turn. Are you the one that's fed up of the Americas? Yes, you are. So, in theory, if you're going to make this better, you'd ship this guy over to Europe and bring someone else in. But I'm not that was super bothered. Everyone else is continuing on their path. So, my recruitment here. So, you're in good shape. Get you aboard ship a, a new squadron of ships. 
Nice. Let's see what we're going into here. Okay, everyone's still got a bit of recruiting to do. Maybe if we recruited someone from far off land. The old parlay garrison of the of New Orleans. Okay. It's got 85,000, which is awesome. Just slowly start ticking up the navy. And ultimately start to see if we can secure any more trade. See who are they? Morocco. Morocco and Genoa. No. Straits of Madagascar are safe. Denmark. I mean, if I took uh, Iceland, I might be able to knock them out completely. I'm pretty sure we keep doing the ring around over here, but there's no one we can really kill. So Denmark. Protector of the Dutch. Yeah, if we fight. So when we fight the Dutch, we're going to be fighting Morocco and. Uh, Iceland at the same time. Got a port upgrade. Okay, let's keep upgrading some of Edinburgh's military production as well. Almost fully converted Amsterdam. So in theory... You're going to Mr. Sobrino. You are going to Sacadura Piexotto. Are you recruiting any more units? Two. Man, you're probably getting them from down south. Glorious howitzers and so on. So it looks like Russia wants to try and get to us through Central Europe. So he pushed up another army and uh, Vladimir Kubarev. That will not be enough. Berlin is still ripe for rebellion. I mean, I may try to take one of my rakes back. Well, then again, Spain won't last very long. Well, it depends if the Ottomans take Rome or not. Either way, though, you likely can commit to. Do that. Hop out. Minus two. Can hide in woodland. Hmm. Let's try something like this because I'm keen to try and get my. Try get. Actually, what I can do is I can drop this militia into the capital, get my big fleet out. Use my fourth rate as a transport service. Sail you guys to land near Chekask. I mean, it does put us at, put us on the border with Georgia, but that's okay. The well, path has been blocked. Can you not sail around them at all? You can. You just crashed. Land them on the coast. I, mean, I suppose I might use my force to raid Batumi. Oh. <laughs> they could have had us. You're right. Let's get you guys out of there. In the event that they sally, use my heavy hitters to block the Georgian navy up. Lots of forts up here. I suppose I could upgrade this mine. But yeah, we're going to land, take Chekask, fortify it, build a garrison, drive south and hit Georgia. We may then start to get, in, get into a war with the Ottomans. But if they do, then they're going to lose Egypt. Lots of successful missions from all my spies. The only person we can't trade with is Mysore. But I'm not going to force the issue. Yeah, here comes recruitment. 
I mean, Austria's going to find itself getting... Well, they're already getting a bit antsy. See, Spain demands peace, but they're not going to get it. I mean, no, I'm not going to let you use your ships to do anything. That, was that your hope, was it? You were going to, you were going to get a, beg for peace so that your galleon could break through into the Med and transport your troops. I'm afraid you ought to have made a better offer. You ought to, you should have had, you should have offered to make Spain a client kingdom of Portugal. Then they would have let you do it. Russia's getting ready for a rebellion. So a little bit of coffee, nice and early. Yeah, I definitely do at some point want to knock out the Dutch Morocco Danish uh, <laughs> axis, if you will, because now those are those are all areas that are very much that would be good for me to take. Because the Dutch are now behind my lines, Morocco is very well behind my lines, and Iceland would just. Uh, provide an opportunity to capture Iceland and get rid of another major nation. So do I want to make peace with Poland? No, because I'm going to sail troops into the Baltic past their sonar nets. Yeah, you go, workers on, workers on strike, they're not on strike anymore. Oh yeah, rocket ship is for the four threads. So you men hop in here. So where's that second? Okay, you, you crashed into the Austrians too. Grow the governor's residence in Crimea. So here we had two ships. There you go. You got to a Naba to hold it. Okay, just... And I'm back. Right. Got some towns that have grown. New town in New Granada. New town in Florida. Craft workshops galore. Trades gained. Oh, another guy who does not like Americans. Good news, Jose Geraldo. Plus one to morale. And he's got he's a brave sailor. Plus one to morale. This is the guy who's holding uh, the Strait of Gibraltar. Mysore has been destroyed, so trading with them now is a bit moot. Rocket ship. Damn right. We're the first one to create a steamship. First one to create a rocket ship. Okay, let's... General, Household Cavalry, two Colonial Lights. Because we want to build up Caracas. This is going to be a holding garrison. And we're not going to upgrade these yet. The, the job of this army will be just to uh, respond to threats. Excellent. So let's get our uh, elite... Let's get our troops landed. Let's get this sloop out of the way. Upgrade the dry dock. Should probably recruit a militia to hold the dry dock. And the agent. Get over here, agent. <laughs> wait for this. Wait for the Spanish agent to show his face and blow his brains out. Okay, march up to the north. See if you can provoke a response start recruiting troops to hold Hanover I will engage action but I want to get some of this other stuff done Crimea upgrading that Crimean farms I mean yeah pay church school that's important we get that up and running Odessa yeah I mean, we're getting, we're getting some serious growth. Santa Fe. New government building. More cotton. New upgraded mines. Top tier steam powered cloth mill. Hanover's getting the new dock. That's fine. Lower Louisiana needs the new sugar plantations. It's a great estate upgrade. Okay, do 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 Pensacola. Right, 
Excellent. So I've done the sugar plantations, done this, done this. Done the great state. Nice. Very nice. You're going to this guy. So you're now at full strength. You're going to sit in Philadelphia. Ernesto needs one more interesting. Eh, you probably need a skirmisher, really. The skirmishes you can really get are guerrilla mercenaries. So you'll get one of those. And then in Philadelphia, you can start to build your defensive <laughs> your defensive army. There's a limit to what I can do with marines. Let's not get too many of those. Lots of successful missions. Let's make sure my armies up here are continuing the meeting point. Good. So Europe. So you you can't reach Berlin yet, but Mr. Pinto can smash the Russians here in Magdeburg. Yes, we can. Smash them, then take the bridge. Then we're ready to take Berlin, and then give Berlin to Saxony because we want them to be a strong German Empire. That I want to see. Saxony develop in the late game. <laughs> we probably will end up invading India then. If we're if we're not really expanding in Europe, we're going to expand in India. So let's. I mean, I am allied with the Marathas, so I'm probably going to have to break the alliance and let everyone be a bit unhappy at me with it for a few turns, then go to war with them. But all my grenadiers and my skirmishers on the right, because that's where the cavalry likes to go. Excellent. My howitzers are going to fire round shot. So I want to try. I think technically you get round shot fast. You get experience with round shot faster than you get it with quick climb and such. Because with, I think the only the kills you get during the initial hit give you experience. And in that case, round shot's better because you fire faster. So you technically get more hits with those initial shots. Not the area of effect. At least that's my understanding of it. It could be completely wrong. I'm not, I can't say I've ever actually looked it up. So give them my... shooting at, I want them shooting more like 57th Cossack Regiment. I mean, those guys are a bit weird. I might say one of them just to quick climb get the guy sat behind the barricade. Mm, 62 Dragoons, that's not bad. Charge the red runner horse. Oh, there's only two cavalrymen here. Although we're the ones that are wavering. There's two horses behind us, guys, and we're really scared. There goes the dragoons. Our battle line is now engaging. Get both these cavalry units to mob the Cossacks. When this regiment of horse goes down, 
see if we can shatter them. There they are. Cavalry. So many men lost. An initial charge effectively cost them a hundred men, and they're broken. Sure, you'll fire it well off now. Men redeploy you guys over here. How it says just both drop quick climb in front of the barricade. Probably take one of you guys over here to attack the hand mortar company. I do like hand mortars, so I wonder if I can get them as Portugal. as they would have liked but then again you really want fly by rank definitely don't want the 13th grenadier regiment to come back one last cossack held on valiantly Push the line infantry, get my infantry up here. Come on, you men, kill the hand mortar guys. Oh, lots of them have stopped. One of them died of fright. Keep on taking them out. I mean, that's what I want to do. I want the quick line to just. Uh, Last holes in their formation. So it looks like they aren't going to stand. I suspect they've routed by now. No, they haven't. But they will do, evidently. They're getting fired upon. There he goes. Try and chase down. Enemy troops. Yep, yeah, and they've broken too. Concentrated artillery and musket fire. That'll that'll do it. Let's speed up time. And the problem is lots of them have routed through houses, and that does add some pathfinding complication, although you've dealt with those guys pretty well. Go help the general. Ah. Doesn't matter. Come help someone attack the second regiment. Because they're a bit spread out. The eighth regiment, you'll have plenty of time to kill because they're routing in a perfect direction. They're running around in the open. Oh, they're the last ones alive. Yes. Another Russian army driven into the dirt. We lost 252 men, they lost 1,779. Back you go. So you may secure the bridge, prevent any Russian counter-offensives. But yeah, I, think, I actually quite like that idea. Marath who's the Marathas? I mean, oh, oh, okay, that's a bit tricky. Grand Alliance. Okay, so maybe we might focus on taking out well, let's keep pushing into Russian territory and giving it to Saxony. And then if Austria wants to declare war on Saxony, we'll get involved. I think that'll be the best way to do it. Okay, so we've got a few fleets up here. But we need more heavy hitters. Like these guys. So let's bring this fleet here into the med. 
with the glorious steamships. Never really used steamships because they've got what firepower, 477 range, 600. So they're more. They are more like a. I mean, they're pretty good. They're like like a third-rate ship of the line, I suppose. Maybe maybe introducing some steamships into my battle fleets because third rates are generally the lower end of what I would generally use. You can you hold, block off the Adriatic. Excellent. So Tunis is being converted. You're going to help us convert Tunis for a while. Let's hit enter in. Ah, we've hit your cask. Ah, just take it. <laughs> so offensives in the Don and around up towards Moscow, those will be ours. That's our actual advance. In Central Europe, it's more about creating a new Saxon kingdom. So taking Kiev would be very useful. Again, I want to knock out Moscow, I suppose. Yep, so they are responding to their loss. I want to build a garrison in in the Don, just so it can defend itself while we head south and attack Georgia. Unless I can get peace with Georgia, I doubt we will be able to get peace, but I would like peace. The, the, Rus the, the Russians have abandoned Berlin, so if we don't do something about it, it might be too late, actually. Prussia may take Berlin. They may rebel at the end of this turn and take it back immediately. But for now, I think I'm, I'm strong enough in Europe. I don't require any more territories. Well, I mean Europe, Western Europe. There's Colin. There's trying to figure out how to swap fleets. But yes, Berlin... They've, gentlemen, you're quite territory. That's kind. It's not super useful. You're going to go on, get on, get into one of these armies here. Okay, so if you're going to get take the gentleman, actually you are. You should have something heading your way. Yes, you do. And very well. In which case, actually, let's, let's check the. Diplomacy of the Inuit. Protector of the Dark. Right. So for now, the Inuit get to live. Tech advance. So we've got Line Infantry Doctrine. We've gone on to Diamond Formation. We've got Interchangeable Parts, which is huge, and gone on to Threshing Machine. And Threshing Machine's okay. We lower up to 236,000. Um, so Vora instead gone to platoon firing because again that increases management for our land army, for army administration, which increases our or decreases our upkeep and so on, and it increases our training level and gets us the army staff college, which gets us a few more, few more units. Nothing, nothing drastic. Republican guard, that's a different one. Salamanca's on with copper bottoms. Orleans is on with Orleans. He's on with threshing machine. Technically, mass production is better because it's just a flat re recruitment cost decrease and a bonus to town wealth. I think, yeah, I'll get Orleon chipping away at that. Again, more glorious upgrades. Standing factory. Texas gets a palatial estate. Excellent. When, because you, this is, I really like focusing on this because as soon as you, as soon as you get it done and don't get lured into recruiting armies all the time, especially when you don't need them, you reach a stage where as soon as you want, to, you think, I want to create an army or I want to create a navy, you can just do it. You don't care about the balance sheet. It's so strong. Unsurprisingly, investing in your economy is a good idea. Commercial 
Basin. Upgrade, upgrade sugar mill. Upgrade the roads. She might do a infrastructure check. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I definitely have missed a lot. There is no surprise there. But I do like upgrading my infrastructure. I mean, to be fair, I've only just taken Chikask, so... Looks like generally elsewhere... Yep, there we go, back to Punda. So, Europe. We're in the dawn. So we've got the military gunner's barracks, which is what we want. So we can upgrade Manicop to a church school. Mycop, sorry. Stavropol is going to get a weavers. Upgrade the farms. Although we are likely going to get raided. And I am 100% sure I can't leave. Oh, I can leave. Okay, let's build a defensive perimeter. I may well return um, Crimea into a military governor's encampment to boost my production. Although I could... Actually, let's... Let's recruit General Walter Vidigal. Two curiosity air, then you'll be ready to rock and roll. Let's send a native African army into the fray. And we're also going to work on recruiting another army in the homeland. So, I want household cavalry, curiosity air, light cavalry, sharpshooters, and lancer guards. We're going to get a rocket troop, heavy horse guard, artillery, a howitzer unit, a 24 pounder. Foot artillery, 24 pounder howitzer, and that'll be all of the artillery we definitely need. Apart from that, let's get let's get a unit of marines. So it's gonna take a while to bring this army up to full strength. I could you can optimize it by building a load of infantry here, but I'm not I'm not so desperate for men. So yeah, Berlin. Actually, Berlin's not stable. It looks like they've fallen back just out of fear, so... Let's see if we can just demand the surrender of the city. I mean, they took it. So, diplomacy. Minor nations. Saxony. Very friendly. And I'm going to give you jewellery. And I'm going to give you Brandenburg and I'm going to sweeten it with improved grenades and cadenced marching alright let's do, uh, do, 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 do military access offer and demand infinite open negotiations military access I suppose we're allies oh I see tactical which with no way do we not have... Are we not friendly friendly? Oh, sorry. I was, I was demanding and requesting zero turns of military access. Excellent. I'm going to build you an empire, Saxony. We got this. And I'm going to sweeten the pot. I'm going to give you a cool 10 grand. Because Dresden is contracting. Actually, I might see if I can get it. So, tech. Give him some basic social technologies. To help try and spur off that growth immediately. Oh, enlightenment's going to go from... Oh, look at that. Yes. Saxony. I mean, eventually we will have to kill them, but I don't mind. This is fun. 
So I want Breslau and I want Gdansk. I mean, all of these are the ones I want to give to Saxony, really. Try to reform Prussia, but under a Saxon banner. Get some garrison guards to help hold Hanover. Excellent. So I expect... I suppose Georgia doesn't really have any enemies... Here, about to get copper bottoms. Natural causes. One of my gentlemen has died in Evora. Recruitment of port. Region captured. Agent detected. Agent executed. Well, they killed my man in Königsberg. Cool, let's hit enter. Almost, well, we are going to be ready to invade... The Native American lands next turn. Now, I know Austria is not really not going to like the formation of this German power, but I think it's going to be fun. Peace with Spain again. Not not with just peace. If you want to give yourself up, oh, I can't um, demand they become my protectorate. That would be fun. I'd like. I'd like to do that. This is where I think some of the later total wars become much more interesting. In that you offer much more interesting diplomacy um, diplomacy options. Because I would like to force nations to cut off trade with the Spanish. I think that would be neat. Yeah. See, that's going to raid all the stuff I've built. So I wouldn't be surprised if Russia's actually technically not at war with Russia's technically not at war with Saxony. So right now we're creating a, a neutral empire. <laughs> we're taking lands and giving them to a third party who won't actually use them immediately. No call and no peace. I'm happy to limit my expansion to the Don. Catholic missionary in Tunis. I'm going to preemptively drop them in Cairo because I'm anticipating the Ottomans are eventually going to, de going to declare war on us. Churchill in the Northwest Territories has grown. Here, have a trade pot. Raids, raids. Improved coppering. You've gone to carronades. That is fine. Yeah, you're both upset. Engineer School at Philadelphia before I upgrade that. Just go through the list again. I'm not going to upgrade anything more in Crimea because we need to we need to expand our military industrial complex. Something like that will do. And then this force. Get down to Safaki. Embark. Ooh, let us land them here and try and take Georgia. Yeah, crash into the Dutch, into the Austrian fleet. Nice. And then the galley. Galley can hold. Recruit another. Another fleet arrives, sadly, because you are a sloop. You will likely not be able to make it exactly where I want to go, but you can make it to Safaki. Then next turn, you will land to bolster our efforts in the Don. You're going to go and just annihilate them, just to make sure they die. Back you go. Then replenish, because I definitely want my school to be built, because right now they got a lot of Islamic feeling. Zero Catholics. Excellent, so now you're here. My agent is also here. One thing I didn't check 
the black if the, the black hills may be uh one of these nations that's a protector of the dutch plains nations they are so i think we're going to kick off if i declare war on one of their protectorates then we should be okay although that does mean i probably want you over near brest with a get a brig i want you over by brest to land and take reykjavik this army that i'm recruiting here then likely has to become focused on attacking morocco so let's get a Grenadier Guards unit here, plus an engineer. In which case, then I'm pr I am going to start recruiting troops to join us. That's the last of the Mikele. That's eight units. You've got ten. Okay, so I need to recruit seven. So seven units. Plus the three here becomes ten. You've got a full recruitment option here. Becomes ten, uh, becomes twenty. Cool. Okay, right. Let's maybe pull some of these first rates out. So definitely like having some thirds in the fleet. Jose Geraldo. Cristiano da Costa. Cool. You get to Safaki. Okay, if I'm jump if I'm gonna jump on the Dutch, I'm gonna do it I wanna wanna do it properly. So you men replenish, you can probably stand to recruit uh, cavalry actually. Let's pull three units of infantry out. And then recruit eh, four cavalry might be a bit much. Household cavalry, cuirassier, lancers, plus oh, uh, horse grenadier guards. Always forget them. So it's going to be a, be a few turns before we before we uh, take out the Dutch, but we will do it. Let's get two engineers, let's get two fusiliers. And I'll make this one a slightly smaller calibre artillery army. Cool. Yes, this is what it means. You start to then say, right, my economy is huge. I do not need to worry about, oh, can I afford to do this? Can I afford to do that? You think, nah, I don't care. Do it. Do whatever you want. You want two armies placed to take Amsterdam and Cologne, knock the Dutch out. I effectively want to order 66 it. I want to be able to take everyone at once. Ooh, the Austrians have landed. Oh god, they're in. They're in Turkey. They're in, they're in Ankara proper. Intercept Ottomans. Intercept the invaders. Sending in more men to raid from Astrakhan. Yeah, they raided the church school. That's the one building I didn't want them to raid. Then again, it was quite close. It is quite close to the frontier. So, what do you expect, really? Uh, that's weird. Oh, that's all popped. So George is offering us peace and 15,000. Counter offer. Oh, I can't. Oh, again, I can't demand to become my protectorate. Clear offer. Next turn, I'll see if I can make them my protectorate. Agent recruited. A rake. Run him up to Philadelphia. Church in Crimea. Interesting. Craft workshop. Technically, it might be the better option compared for church school. Are you 
He's a bit of a drunk. Okay, military governor's encampment. Bit of a risky investment there. Let's get all these ports built. I missed the one in Belfast. Ordnance board, grade in Ceylon. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You can't get an engineer. Oh, you can get an engineer school. Chambers, commercial basin becomes global trading company. Build a Jesuit college in the Don. Okay, good. The recruitment is on. So every turn we're going to get an extra two units. Let's split the arm. Oh no. Keep, no, keep you together. You've got a good zone of control here. Then. Put them under siege. Just to ram the point home. Diplomacy. Georgia. Quest peace. Become protector. Very well. If you will not submit, then you shall die. But looking at the timer, I believe it's probably time to end the episode, and I think this is a good time to end it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time when we attack the city of Tbilisi and destroy the Georgian Empire for good. Cheers, everyone.